Welcome back. Forget the juice cleanse. There's another liquid craze taking Hollywood by storm. Hydrogen water is the newest celebrity trend. And the company H Factor is drinking up the benefits. Joining me right now is Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky, better known as Dr. Mike. He has over 2 million followers on social media and was also named sexiest doctor by People Magazine. Dr. Mike, good to see you. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining of us. Course, thank well, you that must have made you happy, sexiest doctor. By yeah, the way. listen, I can't complain. My patients enjoyed it. It's a good laugh. <laughs> All right. Hydrogen infused water. Yep. Good for us or not good for us? All right. So research on it is preliminary. And one thing I need to say about water is that we need to drink more of it. A lot of us are walking around and we're dehydrated. We're not doing well. When you're dehydrated, your metabolism suffers, your concentration suffers, you get tired quicker. So the fact that people are drinking more water and getting excited about it, I'm all for it. Yeah, but this says that hydrogen is a powerful antioxidant, clinically proven to improve athletic performance, reduce inflammation, boost energy. True? So, so this is where the doctor has to step in and give a little context to yes, this. Yes, please. In the lab, they found markers that showed decreases in inflammation. Does that show that the end result has a better effect on fatigue? No. Does that show that there is a true reduction in metabolic syndrome, as they claim? No. It shows that the markers for these things decrease, but it doesn't tell us anything about the end result. It's preliminary research. It piques my interest, but that's about it. So okay. great marketing, getting people to drink water, I'm all for it. So what about fatigue in general? I mean, workplace fatigue, for example. A new study by the National Safety Council finds that 43% of the people fail to get at least seven hours of shut-eye I'm there. A staggering 97% reported that their grogginess has led to a decrease in attention memory, vigilance, nearly half said that they not off at work. And a third has had at least one safety incident due to lack of sleep. So this is a big problem for employers. It's a huge problem, and it's a problem I'm very familiar with because I was a resident not so long ago, and we had to work 24-hour shifts. However, the, what needs to be done is there needs to be some of the responsibility placed on the organizations for the workers. They need to give um, employees an out. They need to give op an opportunity to the employee to say, I'm tired, I don't feel safe driving home today. Mm -hmm. Maybe pay their cab bill. Maybe have an alternate way of transportation for them to get home. Because drowsy driving is a serious problem. Yeah. An Australian study actually found this is really interesting that if you're drowsy driving, 24 hours no sleep, it's the equivalent of having a 0.1 blood alcohol concentration. Wow. And we know 0.08 is legally drunk. Oh my God. So look, this is something serious. How do you, how do you feel about naps? Let's say you take two hour nap in the day and then you only sleep four, four hours at night. Is that, is, that, is that okay? I'm a fan of naps. Power naps are great, but two hours, a little bit too long. Too many. I what would you, keep them under 30 minutes. 30 minute naps. Yes. That's, that's what you do. Yep. Dr. Mike, really good advice. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank great you so to much. see you. Yep. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay